Pennsylvania is recognized for any questions he may have for the panel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it, and thanks for both members for coming in. But with that, Mr. Chairman, for the sake of time, I yield back. Thank you very much. The gentleman from New York is recognized for any questions he may have. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, uh, for the time. Uh, Chairman Westerman, I, I'm the sole member of this panel that's uh, from the state of New York, and I, I'm absolutely appalled with this administration uh, in conjunction with the state of New York and New York City uh, that they have perpetrated on the taxpayers of our state. Uh, the encampment of illegal migrants on land never meant for such purposes at just absolute enormous expense to U.S. taxpayers. It does nothing to address the core problems that have led to millions of people pouring across our southern border illegally, entering this country and violating our nation's sovereignty. Uh, to echo my colleagues who have already spoken very passionately and at length uh, today, these policies are in no way humanitarian or benevolent. This administration is actually hurting the very people it claims to be protecting here. Uh, Chairman Westerman, as you know, the Biden administration has stated that this legislation, H.R. 5283, uh, prevents the Department of Interior and the Department of Agriculture from making appropriate use of federal land for emergency purposes. Um, once more, could you uh, remind us, is the encampment of thousands of illegal migrants on the grounds of a historic landmark an appropriate use of federal lands and resources? I say it's not. The Biden administration obviously says it does, and they're using the authorities they have under an emergency declaration um, to use the, the federal land, the Park Service land, to house migrants. Absolutely. And, and for that matter, do you think it's appropriate to use hotels and public school gyms in communities like New York City and in small communities in my own district to house illegal immigrants? So I would say that's more a decision for the state of, of New York and the city of New York. I did try to visit the Roosevelt Hotel and was uh, asked to leave, even though there were uh, um, uniformed National Guard members at the hotel. They said this was a, a city operation, and even though uh, several members on the other side of the aisle toured the hotel with cameras the week before, we were denied entrance into the Roosevelt Hotel. I'm more concerned about the federal land, Floyd Bennett Field, and this unprecedented action that the administration has taken that unfortunately sets a precedent for the future for who knows what with our federal lands. No, I, and I appreciate that. And I, I, I'm not surprised you weren't granted any transparency by you know, New York City and New York State government officials to, uh, when you wanted to see exactly how our tax dollars were being spent as a uh, federal legislator. Um, it, this is not only an inappropriate use of taxpayer resources and lands. Isn't this all just completely avoidable in a direct product of the administration's border policies? Yeah, I get asked, how, how do you stop these actions from happening? The, the root cause is the number of migrants coming across the southern border. And it's, uh, you can call me Captain Obvious, I guess, but I think everybody that has a, a slight sense of reasoning can figure that out. Yeah, I, I think the people at home are just shaking their head while they see the footage of, of what's happening in America's cities and, and, and they see the footage at the border and they, they just scratch their head as to why isn't the administration doing the obvious, which is just shutting down the border. But thank you very much, Chairman. Uh, I appreciate you reiterating these points for us today because we cannot just act like this is an inevitable and unavoidable flood of illegal migration when we know for a fact that it's this administration and the sanctuary policies of Governor Kathy Hochul in New York and Mayor Adams in New York City, they are directly responsible for the mess that New Yorkers, like the, my own constituents, New York State taxpayers, are stuck to deal with. And I'd like to also address the repeated claims by colleagues on the other side of the aisle that this legislation is cruel or callous or inhumane or whatever other uh, adjective that they'd like to use. To quote a recent article on the encampment of illegal migrants at Floyd Bennett Field, it was reported that, quote, parents say they swaddle their children in bed sheets but can't stop them from shivering through the night as they tried to fall asleep in tents. This is just one small glimpse at a completely avoidable humanitarian disaster wrought not by big bad Republicans in the House, but by an administration that refuses to enforce our immigration laws and has flung the door wide open at our southern border. Children should not be shivering in the night at Floyd Bennett Field in New York City. And they wouldn't be if this administration and Democrats in New York and other so-called sanctuary states 
in cities would acknowledge the true harm and destruction that their policies have brought on Americans and immigrants alike. I strongly support this legislation before us today. I urge all my colleagues to do the same. And, Mr. Chairman, I'm proud to yield back. Thank you very much. I want to thank both of our witnesses for appearing today. We appreciate your testimony and your each excuse. Thank you. Thank you.